Starting this morning, TxDOT is turning to the community once again to discuss the future of I-35 through downtown Austin. We first told you about the nearly $5 billion proposed improvements to I-35 last fall. Now the Transportation Agency is hosting its second virtual meeting. Candy Rodriguez joins us live from I-35 and brings us a new perspective for drivers. Good morning. Hey Amanda, good morning. Yeah, and traffic here along I-35 is starting to pick up this morning. And this is the same area where TxDOT is looking to make some improvements. They're looking at about eight miles of I-35 from U.S. Highway 290 East to SH-71 Ben White Boulevard. That includes the upper deck here that you see. Now there are three alternative plans. All three proposed getting rid of the upper deck and adding two free HOV lanes. Here's what that could look like. The first design would take the free HOV lanes underground, while the second and third concepts are similar. Both would lower the main lanes and the HOV lanes would run alongside. But take a look at this. New animations give you an idea of what these potential changes would look like from west to east and vice versa if tech stop does remove the upper deck. Right now, this section of I-35 sees 200,000 daily drivers. TxDOT officials say they expect 100,000 additional drivers on the road by 2045. So they say they need to do something to improve traffic. If we can improve I-35, we are going to improve the traffic on every one of the side streets around it because people won't need to have to get off of I-35 to find a way around the congestion. There is also a no build option that would keep I-35 as it is now. The second virtual meeting is open for comment this morning and it consists of a virtual presentation. You have until Friday, April 9th to comment. Then TxDOT plans to host its first open house this summer, but they don't plan to have, or at least they don't expect to have, one of these designs picked until fall 2022. And that could either be one of the three designs that we talked about or the no build design. Now, of course, we'll have a link for you to join that virtual meeting on KXAN.com. Amanda. All right. Thank you, Candy, for clarifying that. And please tell Julie, God bless you as well. <laughs> All right, and here's some background <laughs> to help you understand. This is a part of a bigger project to improve congestion along 28 miles of I-35 right through Austin. TxDOT divvied up the projects into three sections. So we've got Central, which is the one Candy was just talking about. The other options focus on the northern and southern part of the interstate. Construction on both those sections is expected to begin in two years. 